Hello, so in the last video we first started talking about verb inflections and uh, a reminder of verb inflection is just modifying the sign um, to add like the emphasis of a length of period of time um, to show that time has passed. So for example this is a verb inflection same 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 has that circular motion um, for that. So for this one we have stood and waiting both of those could be um, verbs that could be adjusted to add the inflection right we can add that circular mov movement to it um, and actually by doing that to the sign for stand um, we actually don't even need the sign for waiting because the idea of waiting that information is being put into the sign for stand so like this Right? I even adding some non-manuals to give you even more information about how I felt about standing there and waiting for a long period of time. Right? I, if I'm standing there, obviously I'm waiting um, for something. So um, I don't have to add on all these other signs or, um, you know, my sister for a long time, I waited for her. Um, that's very English, but instead I could just, you know, shorten the whole production of my sentence and just say that I was standing, circular motion, add some non-manuals, and I'm conveying all that information and that's that's really it for for that right so verb inflections can sometimes help really reduce the length quote unquote of your sentence and make things a little bit shorter or simpler um, so we have one more example that we'll talk about in the next video um, about verb inflections